Welcome to the Q&A, everybody. You guys asked me to do this. I asked you guys to send me the questions. I've got some questions. Let's go through and answer them. What is your real name? Do you have any allergies? When are you, Marshall, are getting married? That's all, thanks. Yeah. My real name is Oliver. The only allergies I have at the moment is shellfish. I can't eat prawns. It doesn't make me bubble up and explode. It just kind of makes me itch a little bit, and that's kind of it. I used to be actually allergic to lynx. Uh, you know, the deodorant. But I'm not allergic to that anymore, so we're all good there. Um, and hopefully we're getting married in two years. So, yeah. What phone do you use to record Clash on? All of my mobile videos are recorded either using an iPhone 6 or an iPad Air. Are you British? No. Oh, wait. What would you be doing if you were not doing YouTube? So before YouTube even came a thing, I actually ran my own kind of internet business, so I'd probably still be doing that. I also was the office manager for my parents at their warehouse, so I'd probably be doing that as well. Boring jobs, but thank God I'm still doing YouTube. What motivates you to do YouTube almost every day, and how long do you plan to do YouTube? You guys, you are the motivation for YouTube. Like every YouTuber will say, that all it's for is our fans. It's just getting those comments in, getting those likes, getting those views. It's all we need to keep on going. So you guys motivate me. And my plans for YouTube haven't really been planned. It's just kind of ongoing. It's whatever happens, happens. If you have kids, what would you name them? I think if we had a boy, I would call it Morpheus. Because I like the Matrix. And if it was a girl, probably Taylor Swift. Did you do well in school? Or not? I actually did surprisingly well in school. Like, I'm not dumb. I'm not, like, stupidly smart. But... I didn't really try loads at school. I found school very, very boring. I'm not a school kind of person. Um, but yes, I did well in school. In my GCSEs, which is kind of from the age of 13 up to like 16, uh, I got, uh, what did I get? I got two or three A stars, like two or three A's, and then a couple of B's, and that's it. I didn't get a blow of B, so I was pretty happy about that. Uh, and with AS levels, I didn't do too well, but my uh, attendance was very, very bad. Uh, I got like a C, so it was still fine. I think I got a C and a D for that, and then I left school because I kind of dropped out, so yeah. Why do you say giggity or whoever you spell it, and what does it mean? How tall are you? I am just between six foot two and six foot three. I was six foot one, but then I shot up literally like a week ago. And now I'm kind of just between six foot two, six foot three. Some days I go down to six two, six one. It depends really how I sleep and whether I shrink in my sleep or not. What football team do you support? I support the mighty Swindon Town FC. And it's funny actually you comment that because I can see from your profile photo you support Wickham Wanderers. I actually went to Wickham uh, for an away day. Swindon went there probably two or three years ago now. I think we won 3-0. So it was pretty good for us, pretty bad for you. If you had to save someone in your family, who would it be? Only one person. Seriously? These questions are really hard. That's such a hard question. Who would I save if I can only save one? So I have a brother, a father, and a mother. Uh, and that's it, that's my family. I have my two dogs, but they don't really count unless, no, they don't really count. So who would I save? Well, I know who I'd save because I know if I ask this question uh, to my parents, they would obviously save my brother. Um, so if I was to save my mom or my dad, they would probably be angry at me for saving them. And they would have said, why didn't you save Bob? He's younger, he's got more life to live. Um, so it would be my brother, which is pretty good because he's gonna be my best man as well at my wedding So I've got to make sure he stays alive for that not hoping my parents die before my wedding or anything But um, yeah, that's gonna be awesome kiss chat on cam How has your YouTube career changed your life what immensely I am now not in an office I'm not doing loads of sales kind of work and stuff like that and I'm not worrying that at the moment I am currently playing video games, making videos for you guys, getting amazing comments, getting amazing support, uh, and only having to work probably about four or five hours a day uh, doing something that I absolutely love, which is absolutely awesome. It's also given me loads of opportunities. Uh, like I flew to San Francisco, uh, been to Finland, been to a load of gaming conventions, met a load of awesome people that are just going to be friends forever. Uh, and it's just absolutely amazing. So yeah, it's changed it drastically. House tour! Let's do it. So I'm going to give you guys a very brief house tour. Obviously, I'm not going to show you absolutely every little bit of it, uh, but I will do my absolute best. Welcome to the Of Manor. Obviously, this isn't my house. If this was my house, I'd be one of the luckiest kids ever. This is my parents' house, uh, and welcome inside. So you can see it's kind of a new house. Uh, it's a new build. I really don't like old builds. Let's quickly run through all the boring bits. Little bathroom in there. There you go. Absolutely beautiful. 
and this is the downstairs. So this at the moment is a dining room. It actually used to be a cinema room where we had the cinema screen on this big wall here. So that was a whole screen. We had like couches down here, but at the moment it's being used for dining, which is super, super boring. This way is the lounge and look at that wallpaper. That wallpaper is so, so sexy. Um, so we are like just, just a lounge, it's just a basic lounge. We're currently clearing up from Christmas, which is super sad. And Mr. Snowman is taking his balls back, so he's got to go back. Um, but yeah, it's just a very average lounge to add telly. Soundbar, oh, I bought Dad that for Christmas, that soundbar there, it's absolutely insane. Uh, but there's the lounge, we can quickly see outside, and look, you can see the Christmas tree. Look at it, all sat out there. Oh, Christmas tree, it got thrown out uh, from this room because it was right there where that mat is. Ah, uh, but it's been thrown outside, so there's a quick peep of the garden. And now let us go back through into the other ones. So yeah, living here at the moment is myself, my brother, me mother, and me father. This is my dad's office. Doo -doo -doo. There you go. There we go. I was wondering if the light was going to work there. It's really dark in here. Uh, so yeah, that's the office. And in here is the kitchen, which is where my mother lives. Uh, and look, we've got a popcorn maker. It's tiny, but it works. <laughs> And that is how you make a popcorn. So that was the popcorn maker. And then going around, we got some stuff. My mum likes to bake. Uh, so we've got some cake and a chocolate spanner for some reason. And yeah, that is kind of downstairs. That's where the dogs live. But now let us go upstairs to my chambers. And basically where we all live. So let's follow the stairs. Yeah, I wear sandals inside. That's sandal swag though. And here we go. Dun 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 dun. Right, we've got a few ways to go here. You can see where my office is because of the big light over there, if it wants to focus. Focus, there we go. Um, but straight on in here is where I actually sleep. It's super messy. Um, it's just, just a bedroom, it's just where I sleep. Pretty boring. This is where my parents sleep. Their bed's not even made either. Uh, pretty boring itself. This is my brother's bathroom. Just a bathroom. Uh, this is a boiler. <laughs> uh, that's my brother's bedroom in there. I don't even know if he's, he might still be in there. No, I'm not going to try, just in case he's asleep. And this here, obviously, is the layer where I record. You guys have seen videos here. I was just filming the start of the Q&A, as you can see there. And in here is my bathroom. Now, there's something I want to talk to you about in my bathroom. I know that sounds very, very weird, but stay with me. I bought some... Oh, look. Hey. I bought something the other day that is life-changing. Are you ready? Yes, it's a new toothbrush. And apparently, this toothbrush is absolutely life-changing because it connects to my phone it connects to this here uh, and it tells me how well I'm doing my teeth and I thought for serious toothbrush technology look at this right this is a toothpaste and when you take the cap off which is very hard to do with one hand an LED comes on yes that is that is literally an LED toothpaste I mean you can't get much more swag than that so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's Q&A. If you like it, guys, hit the like button down below. Leave any more questions you have. I'd love to do this like once a fortnight, which is two weeks if you didn't know, um, or something like that. So if this gets over 4,000 likes, we'll definitely do that. If not, we might do it once a month or something because you guys seem to like it and it lets us interact a little bit more. But until then, guys, thank you for watching. Stay awesome. Peace out.